What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another RNG Recruit interview. This time with us, we have got a very, very special 2026 QB. Very athletic, advanced techniques, advanced IQ, advanced leadership. I'm I'm impressed when I watch his film. Honestly, I'm very, very impressed when I watch his film. He's going to be a problem for years to come. And he was actually recently at a Miami game. So uh, it'll be nice to bring him on here and have him introduce himself to you guys, and we'll get a little bit more into what he experienced there. What's up? I'm Michael Clayton, class of 2026, quarterback out of Edgewater High School. Michael, well, thank you for taking the time to jump on RNG for the interview, man, and just letting fans know a little more about you. There is, sir. So I always like to start off with, man, uh, uh, your current height and weight. So I'm about 6'4". 186, 187 pounds. Okay. Have you had your uh, hand measured? Yeah, I'm 10 inches flat. 10 okay. Inches. Uh-huh. How long have you been playing quarterback? So my dad started me off young at about like three, four, throwing in the hallway. Okay. And then first year of actual football was flag football when I was five. Okay. Okay. Man, so it's been... It's been part of you ever since you started football then. Yes, sir. So this season, you know, how did things go for you for you guys and your high school team? I mean, we came up short, you know, we lost second round of the playoffs. You know, our goal was to make it to state. So we didn't really um, come as far as we wanted to. But I feel like we had a lot of growth. I feel like me as a leader, I feel like I expanded that. I feel like. You know, I got to have a fun time with my seniors, so, yeah. <clears throat> Who is your guys' biggest rival? It would have to be Jones High School. They play as Jones? well. Yeah. yeah, I know Jones. Yeah, Darian Coleman. Uh, yeah, and the other quarterback, the other four-star quarterback they got over there. Uh, Trevor, too. Yeah, I know Jones, yeah. Um, so is that a yearly game that you guys play? So we play them in the regular season, and then we usually play them – in the playoffs. So how'd it go this year versus Jones? So in the regular season, we ended up pulling away from them. We ended up beating them by a couple touchdowns. And then this past Friday, they ended up uh, pulling away from us and ended up winning, knocking us out of the playoffs. Okay. Okay. So you guys really got a real, real genuine rivalry going on right there then. No doubt about it. So next year, next year, man, you're going to be out there with the chip on your shoulder wanting to get that W. (laughs) <laughs> do you do any oh, do you do any um seven on seven in the off season yeah i do last year i played with central florida all-stars not uh i have a couple teams of mine that i'm going to play with this season how do you feel seven on seven helps you as a quarterback you know does it building relationships with wide receivers you know you know it's a little different with not having pads on but there's still things you can definitely learn and grow from Of course, learning how to read a defense, you know, expanding my knowledge on that. Um, Also getting my timing down with my receivers. So I like to uh, play on the same seven on seven team as my receiver so we can get our timing down for the 11 on 11 season. Yep, I like the sound of that. So before this season started, when you were in the off season, what was your focus? What did you really want to improve at, you know, for this season? You know, just all around, you know, um, working on my accuracy, working on my twitch, you know, getting faster, stronger, things like that. Do you feel like some of that work that you put in in the offseason showed up during the season? Yes, sir. I feel like I made a big jump from my freshman year. Um, I feel like I felt like it definitely showed this year. I got a question here. It's just a little fun, you know, but people always like to hear it. About how far can you grip it and rip it, bro? Like, what's your distance? I'd say about 60, 65, probably. That's pretty good, bro. <laughs> 2026, that's pretty damn good. That's pretty good, man. That's very impressive. I noticed you got some strong arm strength, too. Yes, sir. What, you know, we we're talking about, you know, of course, maxing out. But what's your? What do you feel is your maximum range of comfort for di- like you know as far as distance and still having accuracy? Uh, I say about 
50, 55. I feel like yeah. 50, yeah, I'm pretty accurate. I feel like if I'm throwing 60, 65, it's just, you know, double hitch, just throwing it as far as I can. But 50 is about a range, you know. Yeah, yeah. That, man, that's still impressive, bro. For 2026, that's not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. What gets Michael most excited on game day? Um, when I hear the other team talking trash, that's really it. So, yeah, if I hear something a little bit from the defense talking, to, you know, about either me or my teammates, it just gets me riled up. You know, I usually have like a calm mindset going into the game, um, but that just you know steams me up a little bit. So, this is you know. I'm speaking about the Patrick Mahomes and the, you know, the, the elite quarterbacks of the world and stuff like that. What traits mentally and physically do you feel that it takes to become an elite quarterback? I feel like, you know, leading in your own way, you know, uh, I feel like everybody leads in their own way. You know, some people can't lead the same way that other people can. Um, I feel like having elite level accuracy and putting the ball where you want to, at all times, at all, in all spots of the field. I feel like being coachable is a big thing, you know. Yeah. If you feel like you have it all figured out already, you're never going to be able to improve. So I feel like those little things. Yeah, I like that mindset, man. I like that a lot. So if you had to describe your game to somebody who's never seen your film or never watched you play, how would you describe your game to them? Um, I say that I have elite level accuracy. You know, I can put the ball anywhere I want to. Um, I feel like I have a great pocket presence. I feel like I can stay in the pocket. But I can also move out the pocket when there's pressure, for sure. I feel like my throwing on the run has improved a lot, and I feel like I'm pretty good at that. And I'd say just my touch on the ball, you know. I noticed that you're able to throw with accuracy from multiple arm angles. Is that something that you work on in the off season? Yeah, I did with working with Mackenzie Milton. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, I was working with him a lot in the off season, and then he went to Tennessee. So, um, so then I was just working by myself with my receivers. But gotcha. yeah, I was doing that a lot. Got you. You know, earlier we spoke just just a tad about leadership at quarterback, but I kind of kind of curious. You know, what kind of leader are you? Are you a vocal leader? Or are you more of a lead by example? Or are you a little bit of both? So I'd say I'm a little bit of both. You know, you have some leaders that get a lot riled up and stuff. I feel like I'm a yeah. I'm a coaching leader. Like I'll instead of like screaming at a player, I'll tell him how to do it and coach him through it. I got you. I got you. I like that approach. All right, we're talking game week film study. You're just sitting down, first time getting a chance to start to review film for your opponent for the upcoming week. Yes, sir. When you start identifying and you start looking into the secondary, what are some of the first things that you're trying to pick up in the secondary that you can take advantage of early? So I see, do they play zone, man? I see, is it one high, two high? I look at, um, how deep the corners play off. I see if they press. I see the distance of the safety. Um, I also look into the linebackers where they drop, um, stuff like that. Got you, got you. So I'm curious here, man. What makes Edgewater High School football so special? What's the vibe like on Friday nights on home games there? Um, I think it's so special because it's led by a very good head coach, Coach Duke. Yeah. You know, he program really well. Um, I feel like it's just special, you know. Um, I feel like our student section is really live. I feel like our players are in the right mindset. Uh, they don't get too out of control. They, very, they stay very poised. I feel like our coaches do a good job leading us. Well, now you're 2026, 20, so you got a little time, but we're going to jump into some recruiting stuff here. You know, how's recruiting going for you? Are you are you enjoying this process so far? Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, getting getting recruited by schools all around the country, it's, a, it's good. I like it. Uh, what offers do you currently have? I have Virginia Tech, Pittsburgh University, and FAMU currently. 
Okay. And you were recently at a Miami game, right? Sure. What was that experience like? Tell tell me a little bit about you know the coaches you got to spoke you got to speak with, and then what you got to do while you were there. Oh yeah, so um, I got there and I was up in a suite for a little while, hanging around other recruits, and then Coach Shannon Dawson came up and had some words with me. You know, gave gave me some advice that I need. I'm talking about um, recruiting in general and just the kind of quarterbacks that he looks for and. Then we went down on the sideline and saw the players warm up. Um, then we went up to our seats, watched the game, got to see how the offense was ran. Um, and then after, we went back to the suites and had another conversation with Coach Dawson. How do you feel that conversation went with Dawson? Was it pretty good? I feel like it was good. I feel like it covered a lot of stuff that I needed advice on. Just in recruiting overall, not just from Miami, but just schools yeah. in general. You know, in terms of, you know, recruiting and everybody, you know, you've got a couple offers coming in and stuff. Who's been really showing you the most love lately? I feel like showing me the most love lately would have to be probably Virginia Tech. After they offered me, they've been uh, sending messages through my head coach. They can't really talk to me, but yeah, just through my head coach, my quarterback trainer, so... Now, did you get that Virginia Tech offer after a visit there, or was it something that they sent to you just seeing your game film? Um, they saw my game film. So, actually, um, they were looking at me in the spring. Um, they came, I think they came to one of my spring practices. They saw me, and then they just been looking at me, and then they watched my film this season and uh, loved it. You know, you got time still, which is nice because it gives you a chance to really take a look and, and, and you know, really soak things in. But when the time comes around, what are some of these big factors that are important to you for when it comes time to pick a college? Like, you know, relationships with coaches, development, those kind of things. You know, what 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 really stands out to you when you're there? Um, just seeing how the coaches act towards the players, you know. Um, also, I, I talk some with the players, just getting to know what the real is, because of course, coaches are going to tell you what you want to hear, but players are going to tell you the yeah. real. Um, also, just seeing how coaches um, produce their quarterbacks and um, develop them, send them to the league, just stuff like that. Well, I got three words for you, and I want to know what they mean to you. Miami Hurricanes football. What do those three words mean to Michael Clayton? I feel like that's a, a big school. I feel like um, that's a really important school in my recruiting. I feel like they recruit me well. Um, I feel like that's a school that if I get the offer to, that will definitely be in my decisions to go there one day. I like hearing that. That's for sure. So, who are some of your favorite players? You know, guys you look up to. It can be college, NFL. You know, why not? Not only what, who your favorite players are, but kind of why do you look up to them as well? Okay, so um, starting with Aaron Rodgers, you know, just the way that he's able to use his arm angles and just throw anywhere in the field effortlessly. Just I'm, I just fell in love with that at a young age. Um, uh, a young guy in the NFL would have to be C.J. Stroud, just how he came in as a rookie, and it's just dominating. I feel like his poise is very well, uh, is very good as a rookie, you know. Um, I say Caleb Williams from USC. I feel like he does some really, really good stuff on Saturdays. Just impresses me every week. Those are some great guys to look up to right there, man. Great, great guys to look up to. So goals for next season for you. You know, you've got this off season. You're going to be doing your training and all that kind of stuff, you know, getting prepared, developing more and more and more. You guys said you fell short this year. Is it championship or bust next season? But yeah, so um, that's kind of our mindset for the last two, year, two years that I've been at Edgewater. So we take that mindset in every year. So you yes, can sir. say us this year, but I feel like we had a lot of improvement on the offense in general. Um, but yeah, next year, definitely it'll be championship or bust. That's our goal. 
do you play any other sports? Um, I played basketball a lot, like really competitively growing up, but okay. um, put that aside to focus on football. How long ago did you stop playing basketball? About seventh grade. Uh, okay, That's seventh grade. You know, we were talking about, uh, you know, throwing from different release points and all that kind of stuff. Is that something that you were able to work with? The, you know, you said you worked with your trainer at first. You took off ten, your Tennessee, and then you started working with just your your wide receivers. Is that something that you were able to almost develop on your own just throughout repetition and practice? Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, definitely. Just being creative, you know, just having – a mind space of creativeness, just yeah. um, thinking about how it would be in the game and how I could throw around linebackers, um, around D linemen, just being really creative. At this point in the interview, what I like to do is I like to give recruits a chance to kind of show some love, you know, give a shout out to people who've helped them along the way, you know, coaches, parents, uh, teammates, trainers, whoever. Go ahead and show them some love. So I'd like to shout out. Um, my head coach, Coach Duke, you know, he's he's led me a lot through the way, not just on the field, but off the field, just a lot yeah. of, wild, you know, situations going on in my life. He he really helped me through. Um, i like to shout out Balin Trujillo, quarterback trainer. Yeah, I know Balin. I feel like he helped me a lot when I first started taking football serious. You know, he developed me a lot. Um, i like to shout out um, – Mackenzie Milton, yeah, I feel like this past offseason, he really developed me a lot. Um, and uh, my parents, I know they um, support me a lot, and they they give me places that I need to go. Um, they also pay for funds and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Are you still working with Balin? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Okay. I mean, I it in this past offseason because I was working with Mackenzie Milton, but I definitely plan on back up. Yeah, um, I've been fortunate enough to have him on for an interview and stuff. I've interviewed a couple of his quarterbacks. I actually got some of his gear. He sent me up some of his gear, the yeah. B-True gear. He sent me up some of it in uh, Hurricanes colors. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't know uh, you were working with him. That's awesome, man. Balen Balen's a great guy, man. He's he's dedicated, dude. I'll tell you what, he is dedicated and he wants his players to achieve. He wants them to find success. He truly believes in them. Uh I, I like talking with Balen, man. He's always so positive about stuff, you know? He's a great guy. So where can fans find you on social media? So on Instagram, you can find me at um at C L A Y T seven N, and then on Twitter you can find me at Mike Clayton Q B one M I K E C L A Y T O N Q B one. Okay, okay. Well, I got one last question for you, and I'll let you get going on with your night. It's a question I ask everybody that comes on this show, man. Recruits, players, coaches, ads. Uh, trainers, it don't matter. They all get the same last question, bro. Why do you love the game of football? What makes you want to go out there on a weekly basis and compete at such a high level? I feel like I love football because of the position I play. You know, being able to lead a group of guys um, that are all determined to have one goal. Um, and it's just like, it's the funnest thing that I do. I feel like it also lets me clear my mind. I feel like it's an escape from everything that's going on in my life outside of the sport, you know, I feel like it's just, I think it's a great, great thing that I do in my life. I know that's one of the big, one of the big things that a lot of recruits bring up is, is, is that aspect. They also like to talk about the brotherhood, you know, the team aspect and all that kind of stuff, playing with those, you know, those guys going to battle with those guys, all that stuff. I know you love that kind of stuff too, being a quarterback. Yeah. Well, Michael, man, I truly appreciate you taking your time, some time now tonight to let fans get a little more familiar with you. Definitely want to stay in touch with you so we can bring you back on in the future so we can let fans know about your recruitment, your development, you know, all that good stuff. And, uh, man, just, you know, have a great off season, dude. Like I said, we'll be in touch and, and we'll definitely get you back on here. But uh, I'll definitely I'll definitely be tapping in with you to see what you're working on and what you're trying to develop. Okay, thank you for having me. No problem, Michael. Have yourself a great night. Yeah, you too. All right, guys, that was a...
one of the up and coming 2026 quarterbacks that's kind of, I guess what I would kind of say is he's starting to just get noticed. Honestly, it's his, his recruitment has been a little slow for a bit, but he's getting noticed and rightfully so, because he's showing that he's got the goods. He's showing that he can play. He's, he, he really can't. Um, his accuracy is, is it for a 2026 quarterback, his accuracy and the technical aspects of his game are just, are pretty amazing. It, it's, it's honestly pretty amazing to watch on his film. He will get more love and more offers sooner than later. I have no doubt about that. I would expect Miami to probably continue to pursue him a little bit more, especially with Shannon Dawson sitting down and talking with him that long during the game. Um, I've noticed that seems to be a trend with uh, with Dawson when he really sits down and he takes time, you know, time one on one with a player. Usually, it seems to be an offer comes after that, especially for quarterbacks. So uh, we'll keep an eye out for that. Twenty twenty six, he's still got some time. So uh, man, you go, you guys keep your keep your eye out for 26, 2026 quarterback Michael Clayton from Edgewater High School. Michael Clayton the second, excuse me, Michael Clayton the second from Edgewater High School in there in Florida. You guys have a great night. We'll tap back in soon with another uh, interview here, uh, either probably be tomorrow or the next day. So it'll be soon. You guys have a great night.